Ever since the NPRM for Remote ID was published and the FAA stated that the expected price for a complete off-the-shelf Remote ID module was 50 bucks, we've been waiting and waiting for this to be the case. Now I'm gonna say something I don't say very often and with the new module from Ruko, the FAA is finally right. The R111 is not only below the target at 39 bucks, it's also one of the lightest and smallest modules available. Of course, there are those of us who still want it even cheaper and I'm here to make that happen by giving away a bunch of these for absolutely free to Alien Drones viewers. Can't get better than free. Well, I guess if you got it for free, then someone came to your house and programmed it and then installed it on your drone, then made you breakfast. I guess that would be better, but I digress. I'll let you know how to enter and win one of these shortly, but first let's see what we get in the package and set it up, make sure this module even works first. So the set comes with the module itself, a charging cable, some extra Velcro, and a little instruction manual which has a QR code so you can download the Ruko scanner app which is what's going to allow us to program it. Something to note is that the serial number of the module is printed here on the end and this is the number that you will need to register it with the FAA here in the US. Now if you want you can register the module with the FAA before you configure it but this is not required and I'll explain why in a moment. Once the Ruko scanner app is loaded to your device then turn on Bluetooth then open the app. Then press the power button for three seconds to turn the module on and you'll see the little lights flash letting you know that it came on. Then press and hold the settings button for three seconds as well. The lights then will start to flash really fast. At this point the module should be connected to the app and the serial number of the device should show up underneath the device area here followed by the registration number box which is marked as required with this little asterisk. Now if you want you can populate this with the registration number but in the US this is not a requirement. None of the remaining information is required by the FAA, but in other countries, you may need some of this information, so verify this with your local regulations first. And we can fill in the rest of the fields, the operator ID, aircraft model weight, and UAS type, for instance, and we're done, we want to press save. Now, before this gets into the module, we want to restart the module by turning it on and off with the power button. Now, one interesting thing is that Ruko did create their own drone scanner type app, and if we click on that, we'll actually see that this does show up on the map as transmitting. But we're going to use Open Drone ID just so that we can compare it to the other remote ID modules that we did when we take our flight in just a minute. One of the things I mentioned earlier is that this is one of the lightest modules and beyond the obvious benefits of flight time and handling benefits, another is this. And that is keeping the takeoff weight low to accommodate the FAA's flights over people and flights over moving vehicles waiver because not only do you need a remote ID, but a strobe and some type of prop guards. With all this stuff stuck to the drone, every ounce counts. I'm gonna do a video on how I got this waiver. So if you're interested in that and unsubscribed, I wanna do that so you don't miss it when it comes up. So let's take it in the air and check this distance, shall we? And we're using the Open Drone ID app, although of course we could use the Ruko app as well, but I want to be consistent with what I tested all these other remote ID modules with, just for consistency's sake. And uh, right now we're out uh, a couple hundred meters, which is just fine. And now the time is starting to tick up, letting us know that we're losing signal here, but we're getting towards our visual line of sight anyway, so, uh, so that's really good. So, so right in there, it looks like 269 meters 300 meters someplace right in there it looks like uh, we lost signal so we're gonna back up so it looks like it's gonna be right around that 300 meter mark uh, before it loses signal so uh, not the farthest one that we've seen by any means uh, i did do a test on a bunch of remote id modules and i'll put that link to that video up here so you can go check that out because that'll give you just some reference if you want to know how far some of these modules typically go but not too bad considering that this is the lightest and cheapest uh, remote id module out there so with that Let's land this and take it back to the studio and I'll finish this video out. The module seemed to work pretty good and had a fair distance. I should probably mention how to buy this in case you don't happen to win one of these. And you can get this on Amazon for 39 bucks right now. And there is also a $5 coupon right now that takes it down to $34, which is a really great price. And I'll leave links below so you can find that right away. The other way is that you can head over to Excite and purchase it directly from them. And at the time of the recording, it is also $39 there with a $5 coupon. So you pick which site makes sense for you. So there you go, a cheap and light remote ID module that makes the FAA right. Let's give some of these things away, shall we? 
In addition to the modules, you have a chance to win some bonus swag from Alien Drones and Pilot Institute as well. And by the way, if you're thinking about getting your Part 107 and aren't sure where to start, I'll leave a link to a video that we did. And you can take a look at this after this video. I think it'll answer your questions. So the rules are simple. One, have to be a subscriber. Two, have to like this video. Three, in the comment section, write down which drone you will use this RID module on, followed by a number from one to 107. And in about two weeks, I will randomly draw some numbers and will notify the winners in the comments. If I notify you that you've won, send your YouTube channel name, your name, and shipping address to the email address on the screen and I will ship out a module or some free swag free of charge. Now, if someone starts dropping comments that says you won a free Mini 3 or tells you to message me on WhatsApp or tells you to send money for shipping or anything like that, those are scammers and you have my permission to tell them, go get a life. With that, thanks for being here. I appreciate you. So good luck and good flying.